first most basic thing you're going to do is actually add a link to your queue. This is your queue. Uh, you do that by hovering over a link, holding Alt, and hitting A. You'll see a slide in on your top left to show you that you have actually successfully added that. The next most basic thing is going to be opening up your pop-up. You can do that one of two ways. You can go and click the Q button right here, which I don't advise. I would advise using the key co keyboard combination, which is Alt and Z. Okay, And that actually, if you do that, it opens it. And if you do that while it's open, it closes it. The next thing is there's a slide out menu that gives you uh, functionality to do things to multiple uh, links at once and that slide out is accessed by either clicking this arrow button and it's going to freeze out as long as you're hovering over it or you can press just the Q button just the Q key excuse me um, and this menu will come out the next thing is actually uh, looking at your bookmarks uh, you can do that by expanding the bookmarks right here by clicking the button that says bookmarks or you can press the B key while the pop-up is open and to make use of your bookmarks uh, the plus signifies that this is a folder that has contents underneath it the minus signifies uh, to go ahead and, and close that up um, and to open up the links uh, the black with the white text are, are actual bookmarks and to use them you just go ahead and click on them the next thing that we're going to take a look at is selecting links from your queue. Uh, this is one of the more convenient features of the application. So say I'm, I'm looking uh, around and I want to open up a link, but I don't necessarily want to like move my mouse and go way over here. I can just press Alt Z and then I can use the up and down arrow to select a link and then press enter to open that link. So that's a nice little feature there. Also, you can select links if you're over here by using your mouse wheel up or down. Next, we're going to get into uh, deleting links from the queue. To delete one, you're going to go ahead and do a long press on the pin button for the link that you want to delete. And you go ahead and hover over remove and press remove and it goes away. You can also uh, remove multiple bookmarks at the same time by pinning a couple and then accessing your slide out menu again by either clicking the arrow or pressing the Q key and then you're going to click the option that says remove pinned and you know, all my pinned links are now removed the next feature is actually converting the links from that I've saved in my queue from temporary bookmarks to actual permanent bookmarks um, this is uh, sort of a two-step process. You're going to want to select the folder that you want the links to go into, and you'll do that by accessing your slide out. This yellow bar is actually a drop-down, and these, what you see here, are all the, all the folders you have in your bookmark tree. So you'll go ahead and select one that you want, and you'll see a notification at the top letting you know that you've now selected the folder dose. And any bookmarks that you save will now go into dose uh, if you wanted to change that you just access your slide out select a different folder okay so to bookmark a single link you go ahead and long press over the pin for the link that you want go ahead select bookmark click it there we go we can see that that went into dose we can confirm that that's there by actually navigating to dose and you'll see that there that is there's that uh, link and the last two features that we're going to go over are actually bookmarking multiple uh, things at once. So it's the same philosophy as removing multiples. You go ahead and pin what you want. You go ahead and access your slide out and you hit bookmark pinned. And you'll see notification, two notifications pop up to let you know that two bookmarks have been saved. Uh, those went to dose. So we'll go ahead and go to dose and we'll notice that those two are now there. The last feature is pretty self-explanatory. You access your slide out and you can clear all of the links if you want by just hitting clear all. And that concludes the feature over. You can also rename the uh, description or the title of the links here. So you'll do a long press on the link 
and uh, then you'll just type in whatever the new title is. So now, a little forewarning, there is a, like a two second timeout on that. Um, it's actually a little quicker than I want it to be. So in uh, the very next update, I'm going to go ahead and change that. So the, the renaming feature might be a little a little wonky um, for this first version, but expect an update for that feature in, in the next uh, couple of days to no more than a week um, from the day of this video. All right.